Hello Shoreline students! This video will help you to understand and use your Shoreline library. Libraries are wonderful. In the library, everything is free for you to borrow or check out. What can you find in our library? We have books and magazines, newspapers and maps. We have many online resources too. You can borrow movies on DVD to help you learn English. Check out things like cameras and headsets. We even have a skeleton to help you learn bones. When you find an item you would like to borrow, take it to the checkout desk, which is to the right of the front door. But first, you will need a student ID card. This is easy to get. Bring your student number and a picture ID. Then come to the information or reference desk for help in printing a copy of your class schedule. You then take this to the checkout desk to get your picture taken. Smile! When you want to return an item to the library, bring it to the checkout desk. You can return items in the book drop outside of the library too. Your student ID is also used for printing or making copies in the library. Printing is only two cents a page. We have a lot of computers for you to use. You log on to the computers using your email name and your secret password. We have wireless on campus too so you can use laptops. Again, log in using your email name and password. Hungry? You can eat in the library, as long as it's not messy or smelly. Drinks in covered containers are welcome too. Please, no food at the computers. What about cell phones? Yes, you can use them in most places in the library, but please, keep your voices low. Looking for a quiet place to read or study? Go upstairs to the sanctuary. No talking aloud. Do you want to study with other students? We have group study rooms. Sign up for them at the checkout desk. We have a special section in the library created for English learners. There you can find dictionaries and books on language and grammar, CDs to help you with pronunciation and listening skills. We also have biographies about famous people and books on many topics like living in the United States. What is a red tray for? If you look at a book but decide you do not want it, please put the book in the red tray. Now for my favorite section, our readers. These are fiction books for your reading pleasure. We put these books in yellow bins so you can easily flip through them to find what you want to read next. Have any questions? Need some help finding a book? Please ask us at the reference desk or stop by and say hi. We are very friendly and we love to help. See you in the library.